The Bible says in Psalm 63, verse number one, O God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Water in the Bible is a type of the word of God. Um, here's Bible tip, Bible reading tip number five. You know what will help you and enhance your Bible reading is if you'll get up earlier to do it. Now, this tip is not going to be uh, applicable to some folks because some folks have a different type of work schedule. Some people work crazy hours. So this may not be able to be applied unto them. And, and, and here's the thing, uh, reading your Bible at any time of the day, okay, is a good thing. God can speak to you and you can have a wonderful Bible reading experience at any moment of time throughout the day. But if you're able to get up early and do your Bible reading and your personal devotions early in the morning, as the psalmist said here, when he said, early will I seek thee, there's just something special about doing your Bible reading and your personal devotions early in the morning. And it makes sense to me because early in the morning, you're, you're working on a a, a, a full night of sleep. Hopefully you went to bed at a decent time. You got your seven or eight hours in. So now you're getting up with a fresh mind, fix you a pot of coffee. If you're a coffee drinker, like I am, uh, you're going to be able to read your Bible with a brand new recharged, reinvigorated and a fresh mind. That's going to help you just that much right there to get the most out of your Bible reading. Now, another thing, usually early in the morning is when you'll have less distractions. So I like to get up uh, before uh, my kids. Now, my wife will get up at the same time as I do so she can do her uh, Bible devotions as well. But I love getting up before everyone else is awake and the house is quiet. Things are calm. There's no distractions. I've got a fresh mind. I get to read my Bible in that nice, peaceful, a nice, peaceful and quiet environment. And there's just something special about that quiet time. The Lord will speak to your heart and you'll have sweet fellowship with the Lord. And so if you're able to, now again, some are not going to be able to because people work uh, different types of schedules. But if you're able to get up early, if you can get up extra early, maybe get up an hour earlier than you usually do, just for the sake of setting aside that time early in the morning to read your Bible and pray, I think you'll find yourself getting a whole lot out of your Bible reading. God bless you.